this evening. We are excited to go from that beautiful beach look that Luce has back to the Jaffra office. So as we get ready for our party fest, we know there's a lot of you out there and we are so happy to have you with us tonight because spring has sprung. I don't know about you, but I'm here from Minnesota and I'm telling you, it was darn near 70 degrees today. Nothing makes me happier than have an awesome sun care, a wonderful hat, scarf, and two tote bags. Because you know what? I always heard the rule. When you do a Jaffer party, you only carry two bags. Now we got them. That's what I'm saying. So welcome. For those of you who don't know us, I'm Jackie Geisinger, the regional uh, sales director for the Amber region that takes you from the Midwest all the way over to the West Coast. And right next to me on screen is... And you bring it to the other side, from the central all the way down to the east coast, down to the Florida Keys. It's Luz Mercedes Mendes Miller, actually, from the Onyx region. <laughs> be fun. So thank you all again for joining us. We just appreciate each and every one of you. And I know Luz and I are here ready to rock and roll into your March regional party fest. So let's take it away and let's get talking about what we have to offer to each and every one of you in the month of March. So as we take a look, kicking this off again, let's welcome again every single person out there from the Amber and from the Annex region. Thank you so much for joining us tonight from side to side of the West Coast to the East Coast, all the way North to South. We want to start with celebration. What happened in the month of February? So we want to just show you our proud moments of what did happen during the month of February. And so let's kick this off. We're going to take you through our five goals. We're going to show you our March five goals, and then we're going to rock and roll. As we celebrate the month of February, we are so proud and excited to say our goals were 450 new consultants and we had 233. We know that didn't achieve the goal, but you know what we know? We helped 233 people start a business with Jaffra. That's the best part of our excitement from February, but we know Amber and Onyx, we got more in it. We know we do. Being number eight and number nine out of 10 regions is not who you are. So this is our month to rock and roll and open up businesses everywhere, north to south, east to west. Our second goal was 20 new leaders. These You got it, Jackie. What is it? 20 more what? We didn't hear you. New leaders. Okay, somebody kept muting me. Sorry about that. So we had nine new leaders and we know again, Amber and Onyx, there's so many people looking for us. And we're gonna tell you about that tonight. So we're gonna also hit that goal this month. We celebrate the 65% of our leaders achieving their number of goals. Luz, guess what? We what is it? <laughs> Both regions, Amber region, 68%, Onyx region, 76%. Join us tomorrow on Facebook because we're going to announce on Winner Wednesday what teams were the team winners for achieving the number of orders goals. So congratulations. We need a, our goal of 150% to our goals. Look how close you got. We got 141% Onyx. Look at 9% away, but you were number one of 10 regions in the nation. Way to go, Onyx region. Right next to you was number two in the nation, Amber with 113. Congratulations, we're gonna hit that this month, we just know it. And here's our biggest, biggest, most important goal, is to grow our active consultant base to 10,000. We were, Onyx region was number three in base growth, Amber region was number one. There were only three regions that grew, so you know what, we're proud of you. 37 grew in our market, so we were the top division in the nation. So again, we're on our way, but this is March Madness, March Momentum Month. So we've got our tracker. This is our goal of general market, Amber and Onyx by the end of the year. We're gonna have a thermometer every month and we're gonna watch our growth. We started down here below 8,000 at 7,923. We're at 8,257. And by year end, our goal is to get to 12,915 active consultants. 
We even have a leader goal every year. We're looking to help people have a business, have a team, and turn social selling into the best business and gig in the marketplace. So we'll be tracking and celebrating. You know our five goals. They stay the same each and every month. And every time we achieve one of those five goals, it's a party. We do drawings, we have winners, we send out gift packs. So we'll be telling you who wins those gift packs from achieving one of our five goals last month. So thank you for all your contributions. All right, now it's time to flip this over to my partner, Luz Mercedes Miller. Tell us about our focus of the month, Luz. I will tell you this, if we keep on focusing and the focus, which is the each one reach one Jaffra, our team USA is going to go to 65,000. And here we go, because we need the energy, the movement, the passion, the campaign and the purpose, because we are we and you have it all. And guess what? Exactly what we said, the each one reach one Jaffra, share with the world, show Jaffra that's making a lot of positive impacts. Give the people the fresh new start of spring. Our goal is not to exceed only 65,000, but don't keep it as a, as a secret. Keep the legacy growing because your voice is going to be heard. And guess what? You've seen these flyers. Go everywhere, just about anywhere. Places, these flyers, share your passion. Let them know what you're doing, where we are, how you're going to be using this flyer, skincare fragrance everywhere, every day. And guess what? This checklist is important because how are you going to be reaching that person today? Either by call, virtual chat, sample, a brochure, a text, a post, a note, a smile. Make sure you checked off each, each and every one of those check marks when you're sharing and speaking about the 65,000 voices in here in the United States with Jafra. And guess what? Imagine if each of one of us decided to join our team, right? Other people, by each one, reach one Jaffra. We want you to join that movement. So reach your goals, speak to others. Get that flyer that was given to you in your order, just like you see in the picture. When you see the picture with the people that are giving you that particular flyer, share the name of the person that you, that you brought into the business. Express yourself and let them know that you made a difference in our lives and we're here to change and make a difference in Jafra. So go to your Facebook page, your Instagram post, whatever it is, and use that hashtag, each one, reach one Jafra, and go along with that movement because 65,000, it is. And Luz, the only way we get energy for a movement is all of us being active every single day. Every time you wake up, are you posting? Are you going live? Are you telling the story? A movement is created by energy and it's all 40,000 consultants out here, all 299 leaders and all of your teams every day talking Jeffra, hashtagging each one reach one Jeffra. Let's get that movement. It's a purpose. It's a campaign to help others. It is a cause to leave the legacy of Jen and Frank's business in a whole new way in our 65th year. So let's get that movement going. But Luce, there's more tips to what else we can do to together be stronger. What are they? In order for us to get this mission going, we gotta be better. We gotta work with others. We wanna connect. And not only that, contact all your consultants and all the leaders, let them know about this particular special movement that we have in the United States. Find a mentor and let them help you be the best you. What we're doing, everything as of we, together we are strong. Invite others and be part of that. 65,000 voices that we have here in the U.S. by telling your story, inviting, and also posting those pictures, just like you see the two, the lady and the young man, each one reach one, Michelle with Keith. That's going to be you, and we would love to see you in the Facebook pages and our Instagram pages too, sharing with the world whose life you changed. And you know what, Luz? They too can do what we did in the beginning, do their dance to music when they put their sun queen hat on, sitting in their beach chair, putting their sunscreen in those tote bags for them and their new consultant. So let's get viral. The sooner you earn those gifts, the sooner you can go viral and start posting and telling the world stories and inviting people to your team. So let's go early because it's spring. Spring has sprung. We know it's not quite officially on that seasonal, uh, seasonal calendar yet, but it's around the corner. And this is when people, after a year of a pandemic, are so happy to see people, talk to people, be with people. Let's give them what they're looking for, a happy community, something that makes a difference. This spring quarter, we're going to challenge you all to do one thing. 
It's called work. Work your business, but have life balance. Enjoy the time outside and the time with your families. But when you work, work with purpose, work with drive, work with ambition, meet with your teams and set team goals, just like you're seeing on this flip chart. That's what we do that Luce keeps talking about. Spring is about new habits, decluttering the calendar and being really intentional or what, what we like to call that IPA, income producing activities are on your calendar. Spend your time efficient, efficiently and effectively. This is so important to not just get stuck in busyness. It's time to get outside, time to be alive and time to invite people to a business who's turning 65. It's also a fresh view. As Luce just said on that last screen, to take a look at what really is your niche. What's your niche? You might call it different ways. It's pronounced three different ways. We'll call it our niche. Who is your brand? Natalie Gouche taught us that last fall. Who are you? What are you gonna represent in a whole new season from Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Zoom, WhatsApp? That's your brand. So let's discover a new you and a new passion across the world with our movement. Because you know what? When we do things together, we win. When we work and we do it together, we get to win by celebrating each other. We challenge you to look at these words. Take a picture of this screen. This is the reason for spring season. It's time to be resilient. Get yourself up, get yourself out. We're not over everything in the world, but there's a little bit of balance back in the world too. Push yourself to new heights. People have hope, excitement. You can hear it. I just took vacations and I am telling you people were so happy to be out and around people. They were just saying, come on over and talk to me. Anybody would have talked to me about Jaffra or anything in the whole wide world because they just were so happy to be back. It's time for you to break barriers, to inspire and empower others. It's National Women's History Month. We just had our International Women's Day. Keep the story going by inviting people to break their barriers. We challenge you to focus on achieving your overarching goals. What's your big goal of 2021? Keep it in front of you and then build your brand, break your barriers, push yourself to those new heights. If that goal doesn't motivate you, you don't have your why yet. Bring it back, be resilient and dream bigger. And we are so excited to bring you today those who achieve success in the month of February. So we wanna recognize today, everyone that was our top achievers, we're gonna to go to the top 10 today. You know, we do our newsletter later on uh, throughout the month, but we always wanna kick this off by kicking off first and foremost, our uh, personal sales achievers. So that being said, as we kick to the, the personal sales achievers, this is everyone at $1,000 or more in the month of February. Luce and I are gonna spotlight our success achievers that did this in the Amber and Honest region with just the top 10 today. So Luce, your mic is muted, sorry, unmute it. Somehow it went mute. And I'm gonna let you brag about two that were top in the entire 40,000 consultants in the nation. Take it away, Luce. It is amazing. One of our two our top sellers in the nation in the month of February, we're looking ranking number two is Jamile Cruz from New York City, our district director too, with $2,508 in sales. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! And then ranking in the top sponsoring as district manager, we're looking ranking number two in the U.S., Linda Hartley from Ohio. District manager won $6,596. Congratulations to both in the nation. Congratulations. Woo! Next, you know what we have? We have the top 10 in sales. Let's go to the Amber region first. We have with $1,800 to $2,000, Lisa, Marie, Janet Flores, who's gonna be with us here shortly, Michelle, and then we hit the 2,000 mark with 2,000 to 2,200. We have Clara, a consultant, how exciting is that? Sandra, and we have Gina O'Neill from Minnesota. 
Moving into the $2,500 category, Ruth Gary, number three, number two over 2,500, Kathy Metzler, and number one, Muhammad, who is out there as a consultant. And we are so excited. He is with Helen Wells. Congratulations to our top 10. Luz, let's hear from the Onyx region. And from the Onyx region, we're going to go in the 1,000 category. That is Jeanette. And as we continue into 2,000 category, we're looking at Coraline Crawford, Sipafia, Cecilia, Jamily Cruz, and we're looking at Janice Todd. Congratulations. And to the 2,600 mark, Jeanette. And we continue in the 3,000, almost the 4,000, Mitzi. And in the 6,000 category, Ronja Koger from Michigan. And we continue with Linda Harley from Ohio with 6,596,000. Congratulations from the Onyx region. Congratulations. Look at this, Onyx region. Two more national stars. Top in the entire nation. Luz, who's there from the Onyx region in growing their teams? As far as in the manager category, we're looking top number two. Mitzi Foxworth, hello from South Carolina with seven sponsors. Congratulations, Mitzi. And you know what? Not behind her. We're looking at her consultant number three, John Yingling from Massachusetts. We're looking at four new sponsors. Congratulations to both in our top sponsoring in the month of February in the nation. Congrats, and I love it. Mitzi is a brand new manager. So yes, leadership and consultants, that's what we're growing. We next want to celebrate those that are top in the Amber region with three or more personal team consultants. So we have in second place with three, Rosa Silva. In first place, look at the four-way tie. Manuela Salinas, you're gonna hear from in just a little bit. Beatrice Waivoda, Cecilia Gomez, she was our great speaker on our leader meeting last week, and Ashley Bell, all with four personal consultants to their team, all qualified last month. Congratulations, Luz. Let's take a look at the Onyx region. And in the Onyx region, we're looking at top sales girl. We're looking at what are personal QNCs, pet from three, Helen Singleton, Mentory Rags. We're looking at Shelly Pryor Davis and Janice. Janice Todd, Janice, Janice, you're gonna kill me, number four. And we continue with John Yingling and the list continues. And we're looking at Deborah Yingling that right behind with four new sponsors. And number three, Rhonda Koger with four and Sheila Bennett, which was one of our speakers from Georgia with five and Patricia Abruna with, from Connecticut with five. And of course, the number one, Mitzi again, Foxworth with seven. Woo, congratulations. I love it. Those top uh, four there, Luce, are new managers as well. So, wow, what an exciting month Onyx Region as well had. Well, we want to talk about chairs. Those who shared got their chairs. So, we are so excited. <laughs> region. We can't go with Helen Singleton from Maryland. Carol Boyer is our upline. And we're looking at Stephanie Villia from Louisiana. And Gina Oline is actually our upline. And we continue with who else is it? Mose Rutus from Iowa by Susan Holmes. Congratulations for a first time new managers. And we have some, oh, we have one more, Sheila, sorry. Sheila Bennett from Georgia. And we're looking at her sponsor. Uh, her upline is Coraline Crawford. <laughs> 
And our moving up leaders, I believe you have two out there in the annex. Of course. And when you move up title, when you bring bring a new manager, guess what? We're going to celebrate you. We have Susan Holmes from Louisiana as a district manager one and Coraline Crawford from Georgia as district manager one. Congratulations to the annex region. Congratulations. Well, we have some congratulations. Nothing's official. We are still going through all of our achievers, but we want to celebrate that we have some of our top achievers that we do know, we've seen their, their records, um, again, have been our top success stories from last month. We're going to take you to our four trainers this evening. So kicking us off, Luce, take it away. Who do we have first? As we're looking, we have Miss Cheryl Sykes from Georgia, one of our awesome leaders. She is one of our San Fran top achievers. And she said, you know what? In the month of February, she had some strategies and sponsoring was it. She never gave up. She never, what is it, prejudged anything or anyone. And she always planted her seeds. And I will tell you that follow-up is key. So Cheryl, tell us the key things that happened in the month of February with you and your team. Hey everybody, it is really exciting to be here with y'all. And um, I have a confession to make because a lot of what transpired in February, uh, the seeds for it were laid last year and earlier last year. Uh, and that's the one thing that, that I have found to be true over my 30 years with Jafra that you have to be consistent. And I want to um, share, just elaborate a little bit on the points that Lou's made about never giving up, never prejudging, and always following up. Um, over the, as I said, I've been with Chad for about 30 years, and over those years, I've had the chance to learn from a lot of very, very wise women, and those three things are things that were drilled into me by them. Um, as far as never giving up, uh, you, you never know, every little bit that you do makes a difference. And since we're moving into spring, as Jackie said, you can look at beautiful daffodils and one daffodil out in the, um, in the field is gorgeous. But when someone has planted thousands and thousands and thousands of bulbs and they all bloom at the same time, it is spectacular. And that's what it's, what it's like when every day you put one foot in front of the other and you just keep doing the things that you need to do to build your business. You'll have a beautiful, beautiful field of uh, sister consultants and leaders underneath you. Um, never prejudging, it's the same thing. You never know what's going on in somebody's life or anything that's going on with them. So it's, it's important to, to make yourself speak to everybody. Uh, when Before COVID, I had a, a policy of a three foot rule. Anytime I was out anywhere, if I was in within three feet of somebody, I had to talk to them. And you can apply that to virtual relationships as well. And, and, and you know, talking to people on Facebook and, and participating in different things online. When you see something that you can do, just do it. And then last but not least, it's always the follow-up that makes a difference. Get yourself some sort of a tracking calendar and make yourself a note, whether it's a paper calendar, a calendar on your phone, a data management system, whatever works for you, but actually do those things so you know who you need to call when so that you know what you're doing in your business each and every day. And when you do those things consistently, you're gonna have just a gorgeous, gorgeous business that will blossom right in front of your eyes. Oh. Cheryl, we are all cheering for you. They are so excited. They're rooting for you. They're saying great congratulations. They Thank love you. your analogy, what is analogy that you have mm -hmm. of the daffodils growing in the fields and blossoming. That's exactly what's going to be happening within your business, right? The more you speak to other people, the more it flourishes and the more, the more you water the seeds, the more the plants will grow. And we love you, Cheryl. We love you. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you so, you so much. much. Uh -huh. And remember, paper and pen is it. Planning is key and follow-up is also key. Thank you so Great. much. Mm -hmm. Yes, congratulations. She was one of our top achievers. And so we again, just say congratulations to you, Cheryl. So next we want to take us to our next guest, Manuela Salinas, are you out there with us?
Manuela, are you out there? She's there. Manuela, just unmute. You've been getting there. We go. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Hello, Manuela. It is and so welcome, great Salty, to have you with me. us. Welcome. You. You're doing awesome. You look fabulous. So I wanted Manuela to share her story. I want to do just a quick little interview uh, with Manuela because she was also one of our spotlight successes as we were finishing uh, San Francisco uh, bonus that we had. Manuela comes to us. She's from uh, the state of Texas. She's been with Jack for 28 years and uh, she's a part-time social worker and her husband is a retired uh, husband as well. They have three sons and three grandchildren. And uh, your husband also does part-time hospice social work too, it sounds like. So they're very busy with kids and still staying busy in their life. And we are just so proud to have her here. And so I know the one thing that Manuela talked about when I spoke with her is how important it was to connect to her why. So Manuela, Tell us about this little shift you had recently and give us a little brief story about that, if you would, please. Well, it was real quick. Everything happened so quick, but a lot of things were happening with the COVID and um, the freeze here in Texas. We're not used to cold weather. And um, so a lot of things were happening. And um, I got a call from Jackie and she said, 11 days, you have 11 days. <laughs> what? But anyway, I uh, it just I just started focusing on, we have awesome tools and I would just share with the, everyone. Um, sometimes it was when I'd wake up, I'd see something new and I would just send it off on WhatsApp or Facebook or make a call or I'd run into somebody and I'd just tell them about things that were happening and things that are new. Um, and I, because there's um, people that are in real need, my, when Jackie mentioned $2,000, I said, wow, I could use a new computer, et cetera, et cetera. But with everything that's going on, I saw a lot of other needs and I wanted to help people. So I focused on just, Attaching myself to anyone that would listen to me. Sometimes I'd sit in a parking lot and I'd say like, who do I call next? Who do I call next? And um, the very last day, the 28th, I was out there and I got my last two consultants. To, and to and Manuela, you say it so lightly, but Texas was not in a good place. You were without power, water, there was property damage in your home that you had just remodeled, right? Yes. And there was 11 days and you were in the middle of one of the worst experiences that you and your family and everyone around you had been through. And your team had been through some loss, some COVID, and then Texas hit them too. So you had to dig really deep on day 11. I, I think of it as day 11. And you made a decision but you had a team, you started working early in the trip with a purpose. And I wanna come back to that why, because something shifted in you sort of when the trip was beginning a little bit earlier than that, but you were built up to this. So your business was at a place, you had a lot to do in 11 days, but you have been working really hard for a unique reason that I think others sometimes relate to. What was the shift of focus even before day 11? Well, I started working with a very special person. Her name is Dora. And um, she has a lot of issues, health issues, um, life issues, a disabled daughter. And so, but she, I mean, she's, a, she's, she's got a heart. I mean, she will volunteer. She helps a lot of people. She knows a lot of people. And um, this was an easy way for her to earn money. Uh, she found that um, she, she'd ask me about things and I'd tell her and, or I'd um, say, Dora, did you see this? Or, and um, that's how I didn't know I had all these indirect consultants. I really hadn't paid attention. I mean, I knew they were, I knew I had them, but I didn't know that it meant the San Francisco trip. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And so I was okay there because Dora had already started that movement. And she's continued, you know, uh, we're planning a bingo <laughs> pretty soon. <laughs> she called me today. <laughs> I love um, it. So yes, it, it had to do with helping others. And when you help others and, and you find that, wow, this is how, what I can, I can make a difference. And hopefully uh, one of the things is I was telling Jackie, I'm like, look at my, all my gray hair. I'm getting old and I don't know who's going to be around here <laughs> to take over this chapter business. So we need new leaders. We need younger leaders here in, in Texas. So. That's what I'm looking at. And that's why I was trying to see if maybe we could. Uh, and, you know, I have made some contacts and now I'm going out more often and I'm making, um, my, my phone is like awesome. It's a little phone, but I mean, I can't, I put everything on my calendar, even if it's just something minor and I try to follow up and share what, whatever is new, whatever is coming. And everything that you guys shared, I mean, like Cecilia said before the 15th, so I'm going like, we're gonna do this before the 15th. In fact, I have, I met with somebody yesterday and, I, and she says, well, we have the whole, no, 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 we have to do it by the 15th. And she's like, oh, 15th, okay. So I we love just have it. to ask, we have to ask for help and we have to offer. Well, and, and you did such a great job when, when I was asking her, what is what what does she do? How does she do it? I just want to say this, Manuela, you are a great support to your team. You follow up with every consultant. You might have this wonderful small team, but you are with them. You can connect with them. That follow-up that Cheryl said, the follow-up that you said, it's connecting with people. You sit in parking lots and do QR codes to your links to your brochure. You're That's always really exciting, out, yes. never ending, finding minutes, talking to people. Um, I know you show up at training and you apply what you learn, like you just shared what you learned from Cecilia. But at the end of the day, you are an incredible story. When you think life is tough, think of Manuela, who is sitting in the middle of all along. We kept reminding her she was on track, but then life hit and a lot of life hit. And yes. suddenly, suddenly, you know what? She had her why. And Manuela, you're the story of hashtag each one reach one. The company is getting older, we're all getting older, but we have to leave a trail behind. It's making sure we leave consultants and leaders in the little city down in Texas, all the way to Minnesota, over there to Luce in Florida, it's everywhere. And that's our purpose. We are so proud of you and all that you are. And now how quickly a $2,000 bonus for a computer shifted. And she said, Jackie, I need this money to help people. And her why shifted again. Manuela, congratulations. Any final words before we take off? Well, stay authentic, stay simple and just contact it. I listened to another training with Dr. Oh, I can't think Jim of his Star. name. Jim Starr. Jim Starr. Yes, and he said, "Go find out what they're what they're about. Don't worry about you. Go." And so I've been checking on every consultant. I've even been checking on my customers, and not worried about whether I'm going to make a sale or not. And some of those people are just—I mean, it's like attraction. It just comes back to you. Oh, I'm so blessed. When you work from here and you care and then you share, it'll come back to you. Thank you, Manuela Salinas. Congratulations. Thank you so much for sharing today. All right, Luz, I think it's your turn. Who's next? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I wonder who it is. And she's not too far behind for all of those who know. We got Linda Wright. Linda is with us. She said, you know what? I'm not going to stop right now. Nothing's going to make me stop moving the business. And not only that, she's going to keep it going. She's going to keep it growing. And she's going to start listening to what other people have to say and finding out what their needs are and whatever came in the top of her head, she was going to start imp implementing and applying it into her business. And she's one of our San Fran winners too. So Linda, share with us how was that February? Outside of that, in the month of March, she was calling me. She's like, Luz, you know what? I got a tabletop display in front of a beauty salon this month of March, and I'm just going to go for it. It's been a while. 
and she had a strategic plan and she did it. She enjoyed it. She was able to do some hand shows, get some referrals. So it's important to do something that you haven't done for quite some time and bring it back. Just like Manuela saying, we need the young, right? Let's keep it going. Let's keep it fresh and keep it on top the way you want it. So Cheryl, I'm not Cheryl, Linda, where are you, Linda? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Um, I think that I don't think I could top Manuela's um, story and also Cheryl. I found that when I needed help, I was feeling like I, this wasn't going to happen. I was very close, but the part that I needed to earn the, um, the bonus was one of the weaknesses in my business. I'm great at sponsoring. I'm great at sales. I do most of the sale of the sponsoring on my team. And I realized that we've been hearing this message from um, Hudith. It's we, not me. It's we, not me. And then I got that wonderful fragrance that I, I love it. And all of a sudden something clicked in me and I went, I think been saying it's we, but I've been acting like it's just me because it was easier to depend on myself than to depend on other people. And then I realized I don't have to depend on anybody, but I do need to connect with them. So when I realized I needed um, four new consultants to be sponsored by my team, not me, but by my team, I started to think, well, again, the mind was starting to shift, like it's we, it's we. And I, I reached out and, and I, I'm sure it came from one of the seminars that we had, um, just reach out and find out how people are and if they've ever wanted to sponsor before. And you know what I discovered? <gasps> oh my gosh, I discovered that, yeah, people wanted to sponsor they didn't know how. Uh, You'd think that I would know this after 41 years, right? But you know something, I don't care how long you've been in Jafra, you can always learn something new. And that was my big aha. And I said, well, what is it that you need to learn? And every time they came up with something, it was simple. I just went to the tools that Jafra has and those, that video that Jaffa has, the opportunity video and the sustainability video, I kept sending them out, sending them out. And um, people started responding as a matter of fact, and I believe this with all my heart, when you have a vision for something that you want, it, it could be small, it could be large, but when you have that vision and you don't give up, and you connect your heart to it, things happen that you don't have any control over. For instance, um, one of the consultants on our team sponsored somebody and she didn't even know the person. The woman went to her website. So that, that was another thing I thought, okay, the more people that know about this website, the better, the better they'll be because a lot of people aren't going out or they don't know what to say, but if they have a website, the website becomes their words. And if you, if you send the right people to the right part of your website, their need will be met. And then the follow-up came with me. The follow-up was so much fun because every time I talked to somebody, they had something new to tell me. And um, so that's how I did it. It was a connection. One of the other things I discovered um, is that when I came into Jafra 41 years ago, I didn't come in for a business. I really didn't need to make a lot of money. I wanted just a few extra dollars a week. But what I wanted was to meet people. I was hungry for people. And um, so I started this, I started buying the products. I only knew about a few products, but I liked them. But the more products I tried, the more I got drawn in. The business drew me in. The product became then the tool 
that helped me build a business. So I came up with, um, and it wasn't just me, it was a, another consultant and I uh, had the same idea at the same time, but I put together a, my ultimate family package. And all I did was take the February brochure, went through all the categories that would be good for families, you know, deodorants, shampoos, all those things, then skincare, and then some basic makeup. And I put together a, 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 a package that actually, um, when I explained to the, my clients who I shared this with, I said, you love Jaffer anyway, why not have the, the benefit of home delivery and 50% off, the least you'll ever get is 30%. You're opening up an account as a consultant, but you're using it for your family. Should you want to share the product with somebody else, you have a free website. And if you want to sell the product, you have me to help and guide you. So that's how it started. There were ideas, um, but it was making the connection, but it started with my, my mind changing from me to we. Mm. I love it, Linda. Let me tell you this. When you said that it was all about not only me, it was about we. And then this whole entire month, the concept, it is all about we, right? Mm -hmm. And then you said, you know, there was a thought in your head. You started to find out what are the needs? What is out there? What can I possibly put together? That family pack made a big impact, not only for the people that you were speaking to, but those who were around you too, started duplicating exactly what you have. And then you had this trip, right? Well, this is not the trip, but it was a, considered the summer trip, right? And you said, we need four more people to make it happen. And all you did was what they say, like reach out and touch someone. You started calling and picking up that call and speaking to certain people and finding out where are they right now? What's going on with their lives? Not realizing that, you know what? They are hungry, just like we are. They want to grow in so many different ways. They want to share that Jaffa opportunity. You have that video. You're using all the tools that Jaffa is providing just for you and also sharing it with all of your team members. And they said to you, you know what? I would like to do the same thing you're doing. So I am so proud. We are so proud of you, Linda. You don't understand, 41 years and counting, okay? And remember one thing that we shared when we were speaking, you said, you know what? I started in my early, what? What was it again? 33. 30s, right? And then what did you say? You said, you know what? I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna start speaking to the young ladies in the 30s. Didn't you say that? Yes, and, and, I, and it's interesting. When we had that conversation, when I did my tabletop, the women around me were in their, well, actually younger, they're in their 20s. And I discovered that they had dreams also. And when I saw their eyes light up and I, rem I thought of that, I said, you know what? I can be their mentor. I can help them. And they're, now they didn't come in in February, but I'll be seeing them again because I see them all the time. So it's planting those seeds, but looking in an area that I never thought to look before. Thank you so much, Linda. And like you said, never give up, right? Congratulations to all. And Jackie, I know we got so much going on. <laughs> we do. Congratulations to our San Fran sharers tonight. We so appreciate you. Do I have Janet Flores out there? Janet, did you make it in? I did. I did. I'm here. Janet, there she is. Hello, beautiful. So glad you made it. Well, we wanted to wrap up this incredible training segment with something that Janet has learned that has been kind of what she called an epiphany. So it's called the four fun facts. So Janet, I'm gonna turn this over to you to do our final closing segment to our training tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it was great listening to everybody. Oh my goodness. Um, well, I was trying to, you know, uh, meet new people and without being out too much, it's uh, challenging, but I need a new, you know, new faces. So every time I do something, I try to be prepared. And I learned this from Dana Phillips and Neil. And they said, uh, Dana said, okay, I'm going to challenge you to talk to 50 people within the next week and tell them uh, the four fun facts about Jafra. And I thought, hmm, I can do that. So I was at the... Uh, 
a Toyota dealership and met the receptionist who was very friendly. And I said, oh, I said, would you help me out? I said, um, I have a challenge to tell people, tell 20, or I said, think I said 20, people four fun facts about Jaffra in the next couple of days. Could you help me out and let me tell you? And I didn't even say Jaffra, I just said my company. And they said, yes. So they gave me their phone number, I called them. And these are the four fun facts. I, well, I asked them, first of all, because I didn't know these people. This was the thing that was really key is I didn't know them. So I asked them, I built that rapport and said, well, how do you see yourself at, for the next couple of years at Toyota doing this? And she gave me, you know, her whole thing. So I knew where she was coming from. And I said, well, let me tell you about what I do. Um, the first fun fact is that well, I'm with Staffer Cosmetics, and it's a skincare and beauty company. And the first one is financial. From 30, you earn from 30 to 50 percent, and you also uh, get 30 to 50 percent off your own personal products. And the second fun fact is that it's flexible. You can own; uh, it's your own business, so you have your own hours. You have use it, do it as much time as you want, or um, and you have the freedom to be you and who you are. You, they're incredible friendships. You make new friends, you build new relationships, fun trips. And the fourth fun fact is free stuff. You get it and you get a free website, you get free training, free coaching and free gifts and rewards. So um, those are the fun facts. Which one kind of resonated with you? And with the first one that I did, she said, oh my gosh, she said, that sounds, that sounds great. She said, I couldn't do it right now though, because of blah, 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 blah. But I, she was interested. And so I thought, okay, at least it gave me a way. And then she's going to buy some products. So the other one I talked to was the um, gal at the doctor's office. We've been going to doctors. That's where I was at the doctor's appointment. And, um, and she was interested and she's just got accepted into to get her master's degree. And she's uh, very interested. So it just was a way to start with the opportunity and they had, didn't have to make a decision at the moment, but it gave me a way to have a conversation. And so today when we were at the doctor's office, I had quite a bit of time to talk to one of the gals and she was real interested in the product she had oily skin blah 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 so i said well i'll bring you some samples why don't you give me your number text me your number and then i'll um, be able to follow up with you and i'll bring you some samples so i went back uh, before this meeting and uh, there were two other gals there and i had samples for them and i got all their phone numbers and i'm going to share the four fun facts so Yo, janet um, all right, so four fun facts. Okay, so let's do the, the four Fs again, okay? So just in simple, you did financial. Flexible, flexible friendships, and free. And free. So I wanna hear, so you did 20. What happened out of your 20? Oh, well, I did, um, I, well, I did sponsor two consultants, but they weren't from this group. But I think it's like, I think someone else said, when you start to do the activity, they come from various places. And I think that's the, the key to the whole universe. I mean, it's the whole business is when you get in motion in going in the right direction, then things come up when you don't expect it. And then I have, uh, I have two potential really close and I had, well, now I've got five new customers. I mean, five new people. So, and that's what I've been looking for is new. You and have young, so. And you even have someone <laughs> younger than me is young, so. But they're in there. <laughs> <laughs> You're beautiful. Come on, you are like our staple of Jaffra. Oh my goodness gracious! And she really does live in the property in her backdrop there, right? Yeah, so right. you're overlooking what city? Where do you live, Janet? Yeah, Newberry Park, California. <laughs> So she's right out there by your home office, Westlake. And it is so great. We were on a coaching call, and I said, "This is so cool. Take a challenge." Take Janet's advice, give yourself the challenge, 20, 30, 40, 50, and just invite people to the four fun facts. Let them decide. She didn't really know that people would be that interested. Here she has clients. I know you have a potential leader in the future. 
She has sponsors already done, be it from that or not. It's this energy that you keep talking about. When you focus, as every single sharer tonight said, it causes this law of attraction, right? So, and Janet, we've been talking about this for months and all of a sudden here it's all coming at you and you deserve that pot of gold. So <laughs> congratulations. We really appreciate you being our feature district director tonight. So thank you, Janet Flores. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, what a great training session we've had so far.